Victoria Newland, the third ranking official at the State Department and a determined advocate of tough policies towards Putin's Russia, will retire this month after over 30 years of government service. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken announced Newland's departure from the post of Undersecretary for Political Affairs in a statement noting her fierce passion for freedom. Blinken singled out her work on Ukraine, which he called indispensable to confronting Putin's full-scale invasion of the country. Newland has retired after Donald Trump was elected president, however, returned to government as Undersecretary of State for Political Affairs in the Biden administration. Newland held numerous State Department positions, including spokesperson, and once served as Deputy National Security Advisor to Vice President Dick Cheney. She made her mark as a Russia specialist who long argued for marshalling strong resistance to Putin's territorial ambitions and foreign political influence. As the State Department's top Russia official during Obama administration, she argued unsuccessfully for arming Ukraine with anti-tank missiles. During the Biden administration, Newland has been among the biggest proponents of sending Ukraine more and better US weapons. She became more widely known in 2014 after referring with an expletive to the European Union in a phone call about Ukrainian politics that was recorded and leaked. Nobody's pushing this war more than Newland. Tesla co-founder Elon Musk wrote on Twitter last February. The social media site is now known as X. She was reviled in Moscow as an avatar of Washington establishment that was seen as conspiring to undermine Russia and even overthrow Putin. Uh, Secretary Toria, I just want to remind you that she, uh, last month she was in Kyiv and she made a statement saying that 2020 probably brings certain solid successes uh, on the battlefield. And she said, I'm quoting, Putin is going to get some nice surprises on the battlefield. Do you share that sentiment? Uh, I do. Uh, I do. We believe that Ukraine um, has a plan that they can execute to achieve victories on the battlefield. We've seen them uh, making vic uh, having victories on the battlefield most recently in the Black Sea, where in the last 24 hours they sunk another Russian ship. Um, so we do believe that they have some surprises in store. We look forward to seeing the results.